Hello everyone, here are the latest market news on December the 17th, 2019th. Boeing suspends production of 737 MAX. Boeing Co. stated on Monday it would suspend production of its best-selling 737 MAX jetliner in January, its biggest assembly line halt in more than 20 years as fallout from the fatal crashes of the new grounded aircraft drags into 2020. The decision at two-day board meeting came after the Federal Aviation Administration refused to approve the jet's return to service before 2020 and delivered what was seen as a public rebuff of Boeing's hopes of moving faster. Pound tumbles as Brexit cliff edge fears grow. The sell-off is gathering pace. Sterling is now down more than a cent against the U.S. dollar at $1.322. The Boris Johnson's plans to outlaw extending the Brexit withdrawal period beyond December 2020 risks a new no-deal split with the EU. Banks are also under pressure, with Lloyd down 4% and Royal Bank of Scotland dropping by 3%. Traders are getting a dose of Brexit reality, says analyst of IG, recognizing that the trade deal negotiations between London and Brussels will be tough next year. U.S. shale oil output to rise 29,000 barrels per day. U.S. oil output from seven major shale formations is expected to rise about 29,000 barrels per day in January to a record 9.14 million barrels per day, stated the EIA. However, the rate of growth has slowed as independent oil producers cut suspending on new drilling and completions and focus more on earnings growth. The oil recount, an early indicator of future output, has already declined for a record 12 months in a row. Toyota expects global car sales to stay at record levels. Toyota Motor Corp expects its global vehicle sales to stay at record highs in 2020, even as demand shows signs of slowing in China and the United States, the world's top car markets. The Japanese automaker said it planned to sell a record 10.77 million vehicles next year, including cars sold under the Toyota Lexus and Daihatsu brands, along with the Hino trucks. It's up higher than its plans to sell 10.72 million units for the year and in December. Aussie falls on central bank minutes. The Australian dollar fell nearly half a percent of Tuesday after the central bank opened the door to another cut in interest rates as early as February, while the Powell tanked on reports the Prime Minister Boris Johnson was seeking a hard line on Britain's transition period after Brexit. The Australian dollar lost 0.4 percent after minutes of its December policy meeting showed the central bank's board was concerned that wage growth was too weak to revive either inflation or consumption. The downside may be limited, however, as investors were cautiously optimistic over the trade deal the United States and China struck last week. Hello everyone, here are the